Hello and welcome. Well, let's play me, Game of Six, which we do Wild Hunt. And it's this way we got a dream where we saw Syria and met with Dandelion. Now we're trying to find Dandelion by looking at a book. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Called him her stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Hmm. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa of Atre named her Gwihir. Well chosen, eh? Gwihir? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister. In the art of rhetoric, mm -hmm. we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Okay. So bored I could spew. I like spewing this morning. Julia, I'm you. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. Please. With interest. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Can we kill these guys? What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. New protection or get out of here. Go. Now. Can now we kill listen. them? You might have two swords, but there's four of us. Yeah. Four men collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. Okay. Just wanted to do that. Not bad. Actually, there is one thing I want to check. Oh, never mind. If he got experience by killing them. Covered in blood, all of it. <laughs> so much work for naught. Sorry. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had. I just lost. 
It'll come off. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar. But that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Sorry. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... I can see well, through your shoulders. When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. And your back. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Oh. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah. Uh. Maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Okay. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Okay, there, and then these areas. Then maybe there, too. I don't know. Oh, right, the stuff. My bad. You know, it'd probably be quick if I just ran. Come on. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean, how did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Hmm. Okay. You didn't really have to change and just answer a question. That's probably quite a bit of work. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? 
some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. I like that wolf mask, oh, though. As requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Mm. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can Discovered express clothing. all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Okay. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Cool. Thank you, that wolf mask, though. Greetings. Uh, might as well. Maybe what? I could actually win one for once. Oh, good. Like, I'm wondering if I could do this well enough. Let's see, 6, 12, I guess, but I could save those for later. Actually, I guess I could do that. I've put something down, he's gonna put something down, so might as well go all in. Fair enough. Wow, actually one one. Greetings. 
come to me. What did I get anyways? Siege Terror. All right. But of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. I want the wolf mask. So... Is a wolf mask? Yeah. I always found it really neat in video games when, like, um... Ah, humans. Sorry. Uh, when, uh... There would be a store full of things, and I would buy a thing, and then the thing would disappear from the shelf because I bought it. White one, take a What a freak! How about you stop being a cunt? Might as well go there and see if I can get a drink. Or, I mean, uh. cards. Right. Your pay was dead. An artist, a sword swallower. No, a witcher. Never heard of that. Damn it! In the, I wanted to buy a thing. I thought it was the second one. Oops! Wanted to get that siege tower. Hopefully I have to get that uh, one card that usually goes there. Nope. Oh, well, let's see. Let's add that. I guess we go all in then. Thought something like that might happen. There we go. Hello there. What did the cook make? Damn it. Farewell. I'm hungry. Well, then you're in the right place. If you're hungry. We're going out to hunt trolls. Okay, wrong house. Here. People. Here. No. You. Greetings. At your service. Show me your. Damn it. How? I'm. So come long. on, Gwent cards. Give them to me.
So is this Escuela? Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come Mom? after all. Where are well, ya? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? You don't die from rats, stupid. Yeah, yes, you, you can. Do. Just the other day I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. Liar. That's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Oh, that was quick. I wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Are you like a not? Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. We peruse the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Ouch. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee ho! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. For I guess I have to go the other way. Dog. Hey you guys. What do you want? Yeah. Rose of our Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. Why don't you realise what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt. Follow me. I think I remember this. You're my new instructor. Well, well. Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Okay. Let's dance. I played Sekiro. Why 
father with two swords when you can barely handle one. Damn it! Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking f A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. He thinks you'd know what a witcher looks like. Yeah, sure, I'll indulge her uh, just a bit. What's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a Zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Yeah. Came to ask about your rhetoric I didn't tutor, see a Dandelion. One. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Okay. You'll never learn. with two swords when you can barely handle one. Yeah, you're right. There we go. Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Oh, well. Yeah, sure. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Var Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. 
died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children with his know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. Hello. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Is this a sex thing? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. I mean, I enjoyed fighting with her. I feel like that's a sex thing. Though I guess I'm a bit uh, timed. Talk to Molly. How do I get out of here? Anyways, main quest. Oh, right. Uh, end of this Let's Play. So comment, because like, comment, say what you like, dislike, tips, tricks. Otherwise, if you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and share the video. Please remember to spay the new to animals, self -control and move self control the pet population. And until next time, let's play me. In game of Wolf Six of Witcher Three: The Wild Hunt. Need a gift for my wife.